Hey guys, so this is just going to be a quick unboxing video. I got this box from Book Outlet. I just got this in the mail and I wanted to go ahead and film it really quick before I lose daylight. So yeah, I'm going to do this and see what I got in here. It's just a small order. I just got a couple of books that I wanted to go ahead and order before they sold out or before the sale went off. Also. Giselle from Book Nerd Canada did a giveaway from Book Outlet and all the people who entered ended up getting a, I think it was a $5 off coupon for your whole order. So I went ahead and used that on this. So thanks Giselle. She is awesome. If you guys have not seen her channel, I will post the link down below because she is awesome. Okay. Yay. Here is Kinsey and Me by Sue Grafton. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Kinsey Melhone Alphabet Mystery series by Sue Grafton. Uh, this is a anthology of short stories all about Kinsey, the, the, the detective in the series. I've read the first book in that series called A is for Alibi and I loved it and I've been trying to collect the rest of the books so I could read the series the rest of the way. All right, this one I have been so, 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 so excited to read and that is The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. This is a middle grade fantasy book. I love that cover. I love just the whole book design and the deckled edges. The next one I got here is Another Little Piece by Kate Carius Quinn. This is a young adult horror novel and horror, I mean, you guys have watched my videos long enough, you guys know that I love horror and the fact that there is some more Young adult horror coming out is great and makes me very excited. And last but not least, the book that I was most excited about, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. I love books about books and I love books about bookshops. And when I saw this and the cover and when I heard what the book was about, I just I had to have it. So I've been trying to get a hold of a hardcover of this book for a while now and they had it on Book Outlet and I was like, yep gotta get it it's mine so there it is just four books this time which is fine because i've got plenty of books to read so it's not like i really need any more speaking of which there's a library book sale tomorrow at my public library so uh, i'll be going to that and, and getting more books that i don't need that's okay right because i could have worse habits you know Anyway, guys, uh, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys, it's Cameron again, and I'm back to do a review of Between the Land and the Sea by Darylin Anderson. Just to give you a quick overview of what this book is about, 